Cryomax freezing bags are the perfect solution for the cryopreservation of your cells. The bags are made of an EVA tubular film and provide safety for your cells at ultra-low temperatures. An extra-long EVA tubing allows for drawing quantity control samples out of tube sections after heat sealing. Both EVA tubing and injection port of the tubing harness are 100% DMSO resistant. The spike ports are secured with protective sealed caps to minimize the risk of nitrogen ingress into the port. The filling assembly simplifies the transfer of your sample into the freezing bag. The overwrap bag maintains sterility and prevents contamination. In this tutorial, we guide you through the entire freezing and thawing cycle. Please follow these steps carefully to keep your cell product safe from start to finish. When unpacking the freezing bag in a sterile environment, there is no need for a bag surface disinfection due to the double sterile packaging. Insert the label in the label pocket and seal it with spot seals. The bag itself must not be labeled by using ink or stickers. The tubing attached to the injection port consists of DMSO-resistant EVA, whereas the filling assembly consists of PVC and is not suitable for DMSO. For administration of DMSO, solely use the injection port and do not use the spike ports of the filling assembly. Before transferring your cells into the freezing bag, make sure to close all roller clamps Then, attach the transfer device to a lure connector and fill the bag by gravity feed. In the next step, DMSO is added to your cells by simply injecting it via the injection port. You may also just connect the syringe to the port. Remember to solely use the injection port for DMSO. Carefully remove air bubbles from the freezing bag. Trapped air below the spike ports can be removed by gently manipulating bag and ports. To remove the air off the port, gently squeeze the remaining air into the tubing. Pull out the air with a syringe attached to a lure connector. Samples can be taken during evacuation with the help of a syringe. Alternatively, you can take samples from EVA tube sections after sealing. Sealing procedures are performed on the EVA tubing. To seal the Cryomax freezing bag, weld the EVA tubing three times, starting with the first welding point as close as possible to the bag. Then, simply cut off the tubing in the middle. Do not detach the tubing by pulling on the tubing, which may cause tiny holes in the seal and may allow ingress of liquid nitrogen and subsequent rupture during thawing. The sealed tubing should not be longer than the spike ports. The remaining blood in the detached tubing can be used for sampling. Before inserting the bag into the corresponding overwrap bag, carefully dry the Cryomax freezing bag from the outside. Then vacuum seal the overwrap bag. Make sure to evacuate the overwrap bag beforehand. Remaining air might lead to bag breakage due to hampered temperature transmission. Place the bag 
into a pre-cooled protective metal cassette. Double check that all surfaces of bag and freezing cassette are completely dry before freezing. Ice particles on the surface may damage the bags. Avoid bending or squeezing the bag when closing the cassette. Folding is only allowed for the label pouch of the Cryomax 50 bag. For freezing your sample, please follow the institutional protocols. If possible, use a controlled rate freezer. Place the freezing cassette into a pre-cooled freezer chamber and initiate the freezing program. Do not plunge the freezing cassette into a liquid nitrogen tank without a pre-freezing procedure. The extreme thermal shock may lead to bag breaking. After freezing your sample in a controlled rate freezer, transfer your bag to a storage tank. Frozen freezing bags are fragile. Handle with care. Storage should be performed in the vapor phase of liquid nitrogen. If stored in the liquid phase of nitrogen, place the bag into the vapor phase for a minimum of four hours before removal from the nitrogen tank. Remove the bag with its overwrap bag from the cassette and inspect it for leaks or ruptures before thawing. Caution. Entry of air or liquid nitrogen into the bag during storage may cause rapid expansion and subsequent bursting of the bag during rewarming. Place the bag and its overwrap bag into a 37 degrees Celsius water bath until all ice crystals have melted. After thawing, remove the bag from the water bath and dry the bag surface. Cautiously open the overwrap bag by using scissors. After removing the overwrap bag, twist off the top part of the spike port. Carefully, puncture the port seal with the spike of a sterile transfusion assembly. Your cells are now ready to be used in downstream applications. And remember, to avoid bag breakage and the loss of your cells, remove all air bubbles from the freezing bag and the overwrap bag. Keep the bag dry. Remove the bag with its overwrap bag from the cassette directly after removal from the liquid nitrogen tank. Frozen bags are very fragile. Always handle with care. Profit from easy and safe cryopreservation from start to finish. Cryomax freezing bags. Miltony Biotech.